There's friction. There's air drag. There has to be a source of energy somewhere. Hello, hello, hello. Solutions to problem 102. To explain the perpetual motion of this coupled oscillator. Many of you think that <laughs> it keeps going forever because of the rotation of the Earth. I can assure you that's not the case. Yes, it does have a magnet there, but that's not the reason why it keeps going. There is no such thing as a motor that runs exclusively on magnets. You can buy them online, but those are fakes, just lies. Let's look at, at this here. Okay. This ball here has a magnet inside. And these are four magnets that I can move. I have put them in such a way that this magnet is repelled from all the other four. Okay. If I have it like this, this ball that I have in my hand has a certain amount of gravitational potential energy. That can never increase when I let it go. Surely those magnets that you see there, those four, can change the direction. But it can never lift up this one in my hand any higher than it is now. So they are now all four repelling. Okay, so it's coming to a halt. I can turn one over so it will be attracted by this one. Uh, we can start it again. It will never get any higher than the height from which I release it. In this case it obviously ends up on the one that attracts it. If I make here a double So that means strong repelling. If I release it from this height, these two magnets will repel it. If they were able to swing it higher than I have it now, then you would have an infinite source of energy because the second time that it comes back, it will swing it again higher and again higher and again higher. All right, so turning back to our very interesting coupled pendulum. There must be a source of energy that is non-negotiable. 
And so that source of energy has to be inside the black box. That cannot be just a magnet. Because magnets can never change the energy of the system. As I just showed you with my other magnets. So there has to be inside a battery. And the battery inside has a very clever circuit attached to it. And the circuits, you can try to design one for yourself, will push this one. When it passes this point, that circuit will produce a magnetic field that pushes this in this direction. And it only does it when it passes this point. And so every time that it passes this point, it's being pushed. Okay. So I now have four magnets that push on that, right? Now watch it. Oh, oh. Wrong direction. Look at it. I do it now with this magnet in my hand. <laughs> no, I still don't do it right. Okay, now I do it right. You see that? I, maybe I should have removed the battery. Okay, now I got it. So now I am doing it. Maybe the battery is also helping me. So I'm pushing now. And that's what's happening inside. I will take this off. I will turn this over. And there is your battery, a <laughs> Duracell. It's a very clever circuit. Uh, there are other similar toys like that. Uh, I use some of them in my lectures. There is no such thing as perpetual motion. You need a source of energy. Magnets alone cannot do that. So you need a battery that drives a current and the current will drive a magnetic field through Ampere's law. Have a nice day and take care. And of course we'll be friends. Let me put a few ones of those here again. All right, over and out.